Today I became Beast Boy, so I can morph into any animal to beat Minecraft. You guys can actually turn me into random animals by leaving a like on today's video. Now, honestly, I don't really want to turn into an animal. Well, all right, you guys did it anyway. Look at me. I'm a cute little funny bunny. Ew. Why am I? Oh my gosh, I'm eating a weed. This is, this is gross. Whoa, you guys turned me into an axolotl. I'm so slimy, yet super cute. Wait, 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 I'm a fucking unicorn. Why am I running so fast? I don't even care. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. We're back to normal. Or kind of normal. Wait, am I Beast Boy? Hold on. Wait a second. Did I just turn into a fish? I gotta get underwater. I flipping drowned. All right, well, this is gonna be a little bit of a rough start, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Minecraft. In today's video, we are obviously Beast Boy, but for whatever reason, I've lost Beast Boy's power to turn into any animal. I have a feeling that Bessie probably has something to do with this. Hold up, I'm getting a phone call. Hey, Bessie, how's it going? I knew it was you, Bessie. Okay, so I have 20 minutes, but I can only morph into animals. I'll do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it looks like we have a, a slight issue. So I am currently stuck as a fish. There is no way to morph back into Beast Boy. So I am going to need to punch my way and kill every other animal in order to get bigger and stronger. That is the only way possible to escape the ice. So obviously right now I'm a fish. So if I try to leave the water, I'm just going to drown. That is why we need to lure some other land creature over to the water so I can slap it with my fish tail. Or we're going to need to kill all of the other fish in order to get bigger. All right, so we unlocked a squid, except for some reason, this squid looks like an alien. It has no animations. Maybe a squid can survive out of water. Oh, here goes nothing. Nope, nope. Okay, I can uh, breathe just a little bit longer than a fish can, but there is nothing else around. I have a few different objectives throughout today's video, one being to figure out a way to get onto land. Another thing I really want to do is find the biggest animal. I installed so many custom animals in today's video that I can morph into. Come here, fish. I'm gonna need some food, and I'm pretty sure squid eat fish. Wait a second, do you guys see that? Woolly mammoths. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fight them. Wait a second, there's one literally right there. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna uh, take a little dip. Okay, okay, we're gonna hold our breath as soon as we leave. Three, two, one. Come here, big woolly mammoth. Oh, come wait, there's a little baby. I'm so sorry. Am I even gonna- No, no. <laughs> the baby's defending its mom. Maybe I can lure them over here to the water. Then I'll actually stand a chance. They're literally standing right on top of me. This is both in incredible, but also terrifying. Wait, it's actually working. Kinda. How is this working right now? <laughs> I got it. No way. Don't worry, little baby woolly mammoth. I am your new mom. <laughs> Wait, look at the hearts on this thing. That is exactly the upgrade that I needed. Now we just need to blend in with the other woolly mammoths. What a what a fantastic woolly day we're having. Wo woolly, woolly mammoth to you too, ma'am. All right, I'll be on my way. And would you look at that? The woolly mammoths were directly next to a village. Let's see if I could harvest some food here. All right, we have some potatoes. Literally the worst garbage food on planet Earth. I'm starting to realize that I'm a little bit too big to get inside of these little tiny igloo buildings. But since we do need to still be Minecraft, I'm gonna have to do normal things like get some sticks. I can use my giant tusks in order to mine. Let's plop those in there. We'll get some plonks. Put the plonks in there for a crafting table. Plop them in there. Turn the sticks into stonks. Upgrade the stonks. And boom, we got ourselves a wooden pickaxe. I am the first woolly mammoth alive to learn how to use tools. Take that, Neanderthals. While I'm here, I also want to use my woolly mammoth strength in order to Try and defeat the Iron Golem. Let's see if this is gonna work. So I'm, just, I'm gonna build up just a little bit here. Can I still punch you? I'm literally too tall. But if I go down just one, it doesn't work. Let's see if I can just fight it. Oh, that didn't work at all. Whoa, what is this? Is this a duck? Or is it a goose? All right, that was a goose. Wait, listen to the sound it made. <laughs> When they're fighting back. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. They were all screaming. I got a goose foot. But wait a second, that means I can morph into it. Unfortunately, this creature is too big and isn't able to fly. What? I thought geese could fly. I guess not this goose. Okay, but now I actually should have a fighting chance. Hey, buddy. I don't know why I didn't make a sword before coming up here. My brain's kind of tiny. Guess I'm going to pickaxe this man to death. 
Well, I just broke the pickaxe over this dude's forehead. Don't mind me. You stay, you stay right there, pal. Put the stonks in there. Upgrade to the stonk pickaxe. Round number two. And look at that. We got the iron, but I'm not able to morph into it. It's nighttime. No. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna morph back into the mammoth. This will give me extra strength because I'm massive. Well, that was easy. Let's morph back into a baby goose. And I actually should be able to sleep. Yo, what's up, dude? A goose is about to steal your bed. How you feel about it? I don't care. I wonder what geese dream about. I stumbled across another animal. This is a cow that just doesn't have eyes. Or maybe, wait a second, is like the hair over the eyes? I don't know. We're gonna try to collect as many as possible today. But first, we gotta make some sticks and we're gonna get ourselves an iron pickaxe. And we should also probably go around the village and loot absolutely everything, except for the white beds. Nobody needs white beds. Take the furnace. Oh, I kind of like blue beds. They're not as good as yellow beds, but they'll do the trick. We'll grab some coal from this building. And three diamonds? Are you joking? And an iron pickaxe. I should have looked around first. Hopefully this wasn't yours, buddy, because I just stole all of it. While we're here, we might as well cook up my raw goose. I'm about to eat it as a goose. That just feels wrong. I guess it's a goosey goose kind of world out there, pal. This dude reminds me of Nick Fury from the Avengers with that eye patch. Let's use our remaining iron to get a bucket. And I really don't think I'm gonna need a diamond pickaxe. We might as well just use it on a diamond sword. And then we could use our two stonks to get a super cool diamond shovel. Because what else am I gonna do with one diamond? Oh, sweet. We have carbs. We can carbo load. There's a massive ocean right here. And I'm pretty sure I see some sharks. So what we're gonna do is morph into a squid. I think these might be whale sharks. I don't I don't know if you guys can tell, but their mouths are super wide so that they can eat tons and tons of grill. Well, here goes nothing. Okay. All right. Seems seems fine. It actually, they're very docile. We just got it. We got the whale shark. Look at that. We were able to morph into it. Wait a second. This thing can swim super fast. And down here, we have glow squids. Hello, sir. I don't know if I want to morph into you, but I definitely want to get the morph. While we're down here, there is one specific creature that I need to find. We're on the hunt for an axolotl, but I don't see it anywhere. The whale shark is a little bit too big, so let's go back to the glow squid. And wait, what is this? This is one of the removed mobs. No way. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm pretty sure it's called a monster of the deep. It does so much damage. We just killed it though. And I don't want to even think about fighting you. Wait, let's morph into it. It's called a lurker. Wait, it has two rows of hearts? This thing is amazing. Let's see how much damage it does. What? Wait, was that a one hit KO? It's also super fast. So we can use this in order to cross the ocean and find a spot that's a little bit warmer and has a ton more animals. We're just a goose in a cave. Just gonna mine some iron doing typical goose-like things. Oh, wait a bat. Come here, little bat. I would like to become Batman. We did it. The bat is actually one of the most overpowered animal morphs because even though it doesn't have a lot of hearts, I can now fly. So we can fly through this entire cave and we can find all of the iron and maybe even some more diamonds. Also, I just realized when I'm staying still, I'm literally upside down. That makes zero sense, but I love it. Oh, what's up, Creeper? How you doing? No, 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 no. Back up. Creepers are so easy to deal with, but I can just fly away. I think we have enough iron for a full set of armor. So let's put the coal in there. We'll put the iron ore in there. And then now we can just flap our wings around while we wait. In the meantime, let's actually build the nether portal. The nether portal's done. Let's go check on our iron. Oh, uh, iron, are you done smelting? Yes! Perfect timing. Chest plate, pants, boots, and a helmet. We are the most overpowered bat the world has ever seen. Uh, other than Batman, I guess. Wait, our diamond shell is actually gonna come in handy. We need to get some gravel. It worked. <laughs> I didn't actually think we would use our diamond shovel today. Sometimes good things come in unexpected ways. Go ahead and crochet that on a pillow while you're at it. So we plop down this. We're going to put the iron. We're going to go ahead and put the flaunt. And we got the flaunt and stealth. We can light this puffy and we could go to the nether as a bat. I legitimately just spawned inside of a fortress. There's no way. If you guys haven't already, you have to leave a like and subscribe for that. 25% of people watching today's video aren't actually subscribed. And literally the chances of this happening are much less than that. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It'll increase my chances of finding the blazes faster. Even though it sounds like they're right above me. Oh, we found another diamond. We have some more iron. More diamonds and more iron? This place is great. More diamonds? There's also something I need to test here. I don't know if Beast Boy is able to turn into piglins. They're not technically animals, but they're not technically not animals either. 
They're like human animal hybrids. So we're gonna go for it. Oh my gosh, this dude already wants to smoke. What do you, what do you think you're doing? I can morph into it. Perfect. Now the other piglins probably won't try to fight me. And I should also be fire resistant. Yes, we found the blaze spawner. It's right here. Okay, this is a good time to test. Uh, we're gonna go back to the piglin. Well, hello, blaze. Okay, let's see if I actually take fire damage. So far, so good. Okay, I do. I do take fire damage. Not good. That's all right. Beck bro, beast boy will adapt. I see a straggler down here. Oh, I attacked the piglin by accident. Oh, that's not good. I'm literally one of you guys, but they're still fighting me. last blaze rat that I need. And yes, I did it as a goose because that's the beast boy way. I literally held the diamond sword in my mouth and shook my head and killed them. Beck bro goose out, nerds. What is this? I was just flying around as a bat. I was looking for the place that spawns in the Enderman, but this thing looks amazing. And technically it's an animal. It's a giant pig. This is definitely a job for Beck bro woolly mammoth. Let's dance, bacon. Oh, he does no damage to me. I just... <laughs> Him. I don't even know. Do I want to morph into that, guys? Let's test it out. So it has the same health as the woolly mammoth, but I guess he's like a little bit handsomer. He's slightly less hairy, and he does have this really cool looking flag that looks like a pepperoni pizza. Plus, I'm pretty sure all the piglins will love me. I am your dad. Please trade me ender pearls. Dad said you got to do it, so you better do it. Do it, nerd! Oh, gosh. Okay, that probably was not the best idea. You probably should not do that. Hey, buddy, look, 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 gold. Okay. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, look. Very, very, very shiny. Very shiny. You get out of here. What are you, what are you well, I'm not giving you gold, too. Well, I guess nobody's winning this battle today. This is a slight problem. My body is too massive, so I'm stuck in the portal. I think I actually broke it. It won't even let me morph into anything else. I think I fixed it, and I also found some new animals. We have some sheep. It's called a fuzzy sheep. Oh, it's so cute and fuzzy. Look at this pig. It's so muddy. It's called a pink-footed pig. I thought all pigs were pink-footed. Oh, let's morph into it. Oh, dude, look at him. I guess because the rest of his body is really brown, that's why they call him pink-footed, because the only part of his body that's pink is his nose and his feet. The more you know. I don't know. I think I just maybe found roosters it's a fancy chicken what is a fancy chicken so grand so fluffy so feathery so fancy what do i do with it we are definitely morphing into fancy chicken please call me mr fancy bro jack from now on i feel like i need a monocle i'm just i'm so flipping fancy wait this place is amazing there's a rainbow sheep is this just a dream wait that was real there's so many animals to morph into so colorful yet so fluffy this was the last animal i wanted to morph into a horse so i could run super fast in the end dimension if i have to look at this i get a speed ability gotta go fast gotta go fast gotta go flipping fast all that we have left to do is to kill some endermen don't you ever try to fight a horse again i will bite you with my horse chompers thank you very much hey what are these guys they have a llama reindeer are these real a jolly llama a jolly llama mama jama <laughs> What is happening? It also gets the speed ability too. Wait, what? This thing is actually pretty powerful. It can two hit KO pretty much anything or one hit crit. Wait, that is slightly overpowered and I love it. Jolly Llama Mama Jama, you are my new favorite. I see you, Enderman. Don't you ever shoot Jolly Llama Mama Jama ever again in your entire life or you will get eaten alive. This is my new favorite morph of the day. Comment down below your favorite animal from today's video. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, we almost lost it. I think I found some ducks, too. I don't even think I need to turn into a duck, but I guess I'll collect it. Eh, chicken, I guess, works, too. Jolly Mama Llama Jama has gotten everything that we need. Uh, plop down the crafting table, put in the magical blaze rod, turn it into the magic powder, put the powder in with little tiny magical balls, and we got the eyes of the Ender. And now we can use all of our different animal morphs as Beast Boy to beat the Ender Dragon and gain its morph. Come on, we gotta be close. Wait, wait, it's going down. This is it, the moment of truth. Okay, I think a chicken is probably best for digging straight down because I will slowly fall to my death if anything bad happens. This will probably be the only time you ever see a chicken digging straight down in Minecraft. Wait, we found it. Down we go. I think we should probably morph into a bat just in case any creepers try to jump me today. I will be able to easily bippity boppity my way to safety. Ah, why? I thought they didn't attack bats. How does he know? He's on to me. He didn't know I was an armored bat though. That was the beginning of the end for him. 
him. Found some extra bread. And I hear the silverfish. No, 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 not today. We're gonna bonk all these in here. Bonk, 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 bonk. And in we go. This is it. Okay, I need to be really, really careful that I don't accidentally get clapped as a bat. So we're gonna go around as the bat. And I guess we're gonna have to use our very, very fractured bows in order to defeat all of these crystals. That should have been the last one. And now we're gonna go ahead and morph back into a Jolly Llama Mama Jama. The Ender Dragon's coming down for a landing. Little does it know that Jolly Llama Mama Jama is here. We do so much damage. What? We're literally a llama. This doesn't make any sense. Yo, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do not know I'm Jolly Llama Mama flipping Jama. That is literally a tongue twister. Next up, let's try a Wooly Mammoth. I'm a bigger target. I'm much fluffier, but I am also much stronger. Yo, what are you? Stop! Stop it! I will use my tusks and my diamond sword to end you. It's coming back down. Let's see if I can even get close. Oh my gosh, I might be too big. Wait, wait. Ah, I don't want to die. Wait, this is perfect. Oh, that's not good. Wait, morph into a bat. That was a close call. I have become Come back, bro, Goose. Back, bro, Goose is on the loose. Come on. Come on, Goose. Oh, we were so close. I might be able to try to chase it down as a bat. Nope, nope, nope. Terrible idea. Never gonna do that again. Whose idea was that? Instead, I will do it as a fancy chicken. Uh, don't kill me. Yes. We did it. And now we can turn into the Ender Dragon. Uh, smash like if you guys want to see more morphing videos in the future.